Hello, Pirate Nation. This is Chad Jones, proud superintendent of Sinton ISD. If you recall, last week we took a look at the proposed new high school in Proposition A. Today, I want to take you through the rest of Proposition A and Proposition B. Along with the proposed new high school in Proposition A are safety upgrades and campus renovations at Welder Elementary, Sinton Elementary, and Smith Middle School. Total budget for Proposition A is $91,390,000. Proposition B looks to add equity, accessibility, and upgrades to our extracurricular and athletic facilities in Sinton ISD. Total budget for Proposition B is $19,670,000. At Welder Elementary, we are proposing a new security vestibule at the front entrance, new covered walkways, and a new covered playground. There will also be work done on parking lots to make traffic flow better. Total budget for these projects is $680,000. At Sinton Elementary, we are proposing a new security vestibule, playground renovations, added storage cabinets to classrooms, added sinks to science rooms, and an expanded and improved sound system and lighting system in the cafeteria. Currently, at Welder, Sinton Elementary, and the high school, the entryway leads directly into a hallway. And although visitors must be buzzed in, once they're in the building, they're inside the halls with our students. Current safety recommendations are that all visitors should enter through a security vestibule that brings them directly into the front office where they may, may be checked in. At Smith Middle School in Proposition A would be expanded parking, added exterior security lighting at the back of the campus, expanded weight room, and replaced the old bleachers in the gymnasium. Prop A at Smith Middle School would have a budget of $1,110,000. Proposition B would include four new tennis courts at the middle school and a new six-lane track. This past year, we had 65 middle school students in tennis and about 45 tennis students at the high school. All of these students had to practice on our four courts located at the high school, which meant middle school students had to be bussed over to the courts for practice after high school was finished. During track season, the same was done for middle school students. Therefore, these upgrades will allow them to practice on their own campus right after school and get home in plenty of time to do homework. Proposition B at Smith Middle School would have a budget of $1.4 million. Proposition B at the high school adds eight tennis courts, a new multi-purpose building with a 60-yard indoor practice facility to be shared by multiple Sinton ISD programs. The multi-purpose building would also hold the new weight room, the new field house, and coaches' offices. This facility would be built on the north side of Pirate Stadium, and it would include new stadium restrooms and concession stands. Budget for Proposition B at the high school is $18,270,000. Remember, because of the increase in our certified value due to steel dynamics, the Sinton ISD tax rate will not increase no matter what happens with the bond. Early voting is Tuesday, October 13th through Friday, October 30th. And election day is Tuesday, November 3rd. Polls will be open on election day from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. One reminder about the high school tour that will be offered next week, Monday, October 12th, beginning at 6.30 at the high school. Would love to see you there. Remember, due to COVID-19, everyone who attends must pre-register at sentinisdbond.net. If you have questions, feel free to reach out anytime. Thank you. God bless and go Pirates.